and I'm back. Back again with another doodle. You might have been wondering where I've been the past week. I've been doing a lot of work. I'm at my job, getting things done, stacking fruits and vegetables and making displays and all that. I have been drawing and I have been working on videos. I just haven't uploaded any because I've been very, very busy. And of course with Ohio having the strangest weather that I know of that I've lived in, we had a day for actually several days where it was in the low 70s. And the one day was in the low 70s and then I opened my window beside my bed in my bedroom. And then I wake up and there's snow falling on me. And it is 25 degrees out. That was really strange. And then later that day, it warmed up a little bit. It then got really cold that night again. And then the next morning it got colder. And then it warmed up. And then we had a storm. A hailstorm. And then it rained. And then it was cold again. And then it was warm. And the weather... It, it, Ohio weather can never make up its mind. You can go from winter to summer all in one day. There's not really much of a spring here, it seems like. There's either winter or a little bit of summer and then some kind of strange mixture of all the seasons combined during the fall and the spring. We don't really have a fall and spring. It's all just mixed together and just... I don't even know anymore, really. I mean, when I lived down... In Florida, I was used to gradual changes in weather and temperature, but Ohio is just, it could be 10 below zero and the next day be 70. You just never know. I don't even know what to wear sometimes. I, I get up and I think to myself, should I wear my jacket and boots or should I wear shorts and sandals? Sometimes I just want to bring both. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I just don't know. But I've been busy. I've been doing a lot of drawings and recording a lot of drawings. But as I said, just haven't uploaded a whole lot recently. Been working on a lot of things and um, trying to get as much done as possible around my house. Um, you know when you get to working on a lot of stuff and then clothes just pile up everywhere. The dishes just pile up everywhere and before you know it, after you know weeks go by, you realize, you know, I should probably do my laundry and my dishes so I don't have to spend my entire day off cleaning but I, I try to keep up with it as I'm as I'm doing things but if I start working a lot then I start to fall back a little bit on that because it's either make everything spotless and perfectly clean in my apartment or draw I'd rather draw I mean I try to keep things clean but I mean, my desk area, I, I try to keep really organized where all my drawing things are. And then my kitchen ends up being a complete disaster mess. And um, I think at one point when I had a job to where I was working 70 hours a week and the other job I was working 30 to 35 hours. So I was working um, up to, I was probably averaging Let's see. Yeah, the one job I was doing 70, a little over 70. And the other job I was doing a little over 30. So I was probably doing like 100 to 120 hours per week. And all I did was work and drive. That's that's all it seemed like. I, w I would work, come home, eat, go to sleep, and I'd wake up again, and I wouldn't even know what day it is. And when that happened, I, I just started eating off of paper plates and... um. I didn't even have any dishes to do then. I didn't have time to do anything really. Because I was only sleeping for maybe three hours a night. And I did that for... Hmm, it was at least half a year. And... That was a lot of work hours. I didn't really have much time to draw. I tried to draw a little bit, but... I'd do it every day for maybe 30 minutes while I was eating. And then I would... Relax for a minute and then go to bed and wake up and start over. Eventually I got to the point where I didn't even know what day it was or week or month. And then, because uh, I started working, it was winter out. And then I started paying attention to things and I was driving and it was summer out. And I'm like, why do I have my heat on in summer? Because I was used to driving 
and working so much in the winter that I got into the habit of that. It was kind of on autopilot, and I just zoned out, went to work, did my shift, and then came home. I mean, I don't, I don't mind making extra income, but I think there's a point to where, you know, I make so much, and then I'm really just giving up and sacrificing and compromising all of my free time that I could have to do things I enjoy just for a little bit of income. There's a point to where I will choose my hobbies and things I enjoy over making a little bit of money because, I mean, you, you can't replace time. You can't get time back. So you might as well do the things that you want to do in life while you get the time to do them when you've got the energy and the motivation to do those things and the drive. So I like to do those things now before I get older. And then when I'm older, once I've done all the things I want to do in life, the things I enjoyed, accomplished the things I wanted, give my best effort, and then I can realize that I did what I could and I did my best so that I wouldn't live regretting not making that choice to follow my passion. But give us a like, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe, and stop by again to watch another video. Give me any drawing suggestions if you have them, and until then, I'll see you later. Have a good day.